Hey everybody, this video brings me and John out to East Earl, Pennsylvania. And the reason why we're here is for the airplane hangar, Goodwill. We've been here, I don't know, what, a couple, it was like a month or so ago we were out here, found some good deals, hoping for some more good deals today. Down, down in the basement where they keep all the, all the movies. That is a hope. So of course, the first thing we have to do though, is check the front register because they do sometimes keep some movies up there. I know John's looking for his video games. Usually they're up there, but I'm thinking we should just skip the video games. Skip the movies, and you should just just rock the the sweet dread. You can pull it off. There's actually a boatload of video games up here in the counter. A lot of um, Xbox games, a lot of Wii games, even a Wii U game, and even a Blu-ray DVD combo pack of um, Lorax, which I don't need. Some PS3 games. I don't need any of this stuff. I know again, you're the you're the Vicha game guy. You need any of this stuff? No. Like Gonna end up passing on all these like shovelware Wii. Cool. Games, yeah, I don't see anything Finding there. Nemo, what? NASCAR. Oh, you can kind of yeah, look at that. John's Thunder, being all 12, sneaky. No, nothing. Big game hunter, Iron Man, cars. Passing? Pick it up? No? Yes? Backwards. No? Maybe so? I'm thinking no? Now. Okay. No, no games. All right, so that was a very quick trip upstairs. So now, now to the downstairs portion where this is where all the good stuff is. The upstairs section is just pretty much just all clothing and whatnot. And unless you're like John looking sweet in a Deadpool wardrobe chain. hoodie. I mean, or it's not a hoodie. There's no hood on that. No Deadpool hood. sweatshirt. Then you're not really, oh, then you're not really uh, caring too much about the, the clothing. We want the toys. We want the movies. I'm hoping maybe some stuff in the bins. Who knows? No, this is where we're finding. We find all the, all the good deals. So what the heck is John finding here? HDD and DVD. So it's got like a hard, hard drive, drive in it. Oh, okay. 160 gig on it. That is, wow, it weighs a ton. That is, that is weird. That is interesting. I don't know yet. It's, it's pretty beat up though. I'm guessing you're gonna pass on that for, oh, yeah. for $25, $25 in that condition. Yeah, I don't, I would, I'd be willing to bet that doesn't even work. The, the SD card and the, whatever, the, 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 PC, P, the PC card. Uh, yeah, that there's no way that still works. So that's lived. interesting find. I've never seen one of those before, but yeah, I'm thinking that's definitely a, a hard pass. All right, so what I really want to check out, of course, is all the movies, and they have a pretty decent looking movie selection here. Again, not nearly as many as they had last time I was in this store. I don't know what's going on. It looks like all the Goodwills are like shrinking down their their media sections, which kind of has me concerned. Though I am seeing some History Channel right there, which is pretty awesome. John, I'm dying. Shh. Mm. Be, be quiet. We can't. We can't hear the dance club club music or oh, oh the the, the the country music. Wow, there's actually a whole boatload of History Channel and Discovery Channel titles here, but I don't know what exactly it is I need. There's a whole bunch of extreme engineering. I know I have a bunch of extreme engineering box sets, Battle 360. I want to say I have like a like a first season or a complete series set of that or something. And so the, the problem with this stuff is History Channel, Discovery Channel, both put out these like multi-documentary sets and whatnot, and a lot of this stuff gets put into those sets. So I, I don't know if I actually need any of these, and it's gonna be really difficult to look them up to see if I do need any of these. Okay, Ultimate, Ultimate Autos, Cobra. Pretty sure I don't have that. The rest of these though, I'm gonna have to do some research, but I, I, I don't know if I'm gonna be able to look this up or not. I honestly really hate to do this, but I'm thinking I'm just gonna have to put all these back. I don't know which Extreme Engineering's I have and what Battle 360's I have. I definitely do know I have Extreme Engineering box sets and Battle 360 box sets. And I wanna say Tales of the Gun, I have some of those and I have so many different D-Day in the Pacific releases as well. I I probably have these, I, I, I honestly probably do. I'm gonna take a photo of these and see. I mean, I'm, I'm not gonna, like 45 minutes away from my house. I'm not gonna run back out here to pick any of these up, but. I'm gonna have to take a picture to see if I, if I do need any of these just so I can tease myself with it when I get back home. I uh, I, I love the History Channel. I love the Discovery Channel. I, I, I wanna pick these up, but I I know better. And they're all three bucks a piece and none of them are on sale. So I'm, I'm gonna pass. I gotta say though, even though it's not the largest selection of movies I've ever seen in this store, it's definitely quality over quantity. I'm seeing some interesting things like the love bug down here, quick change. When do you ever come across Quick change, great Bill Murray. We're looking at Bill Murray, Randy Quaid, Gina Davis. Good, good movie. You should pick that up if you don't have it. This though, I'm thinking I'm gonna be grabbing for the store. This is uh, Don't Knock the Rock and Rock Around the Clock. Some Bill Haley in the comments. I already have this for my own collection. It's fantastic, but this actually is out of print and goes for a little bit of money. So I'm thinking for $4, I'm gonna, I'm gonna grab that one for the store. That's actually a pretty awesome pickup. So there, again, there is some really interesting things here. It's just mostly stuff, uh, of course, I, I already own.
Again, awesome things. A complete first season of Hannah Montana. No joke, this is actually really, really cool, but it's it's something I already own. I don't need it. Here's Hannah Montana keeping it, keeping it real. I think I have every Hannah Montana release out that I need. I'm pretty sure I have them all. I think anyway. Do I have them all? Now I'm now I'm curious. I want to say, yeah, I have them all. Speaking of Bill Haley and his comets, this is pretty awesome. It, it is Bill Haley and his comets, um, the Encore series. So I'm guessing just a live performance. That's actually pretty awesome. I know I don't usually buy live performances. I usually try to stay away from that kind of thing. But I mean, this is pretty awesome for three bucks. I'm I'm going to end up having to pick that up. That's that's too neat. They also have things like the fly down here. But again, I have it. And Lady in White, which is awesome. But I have it. I, I'm just kind of impressed. I'm seeing a lot of awesome things. Clearly somebody who is into good rock and roll music uh, got rid of their collection or passed away or or something. Here's a bunch of doo-wop, which is pretty awesome. Rock and roll palace. They have rock, rock, rock. Actually, I was kind of tempted by that, but I might end up passing on that. It's a public domain title, so we'll see. And um, I mean, not, not so rock and roll, but Tony or Orlando and Dawn, the ultimate collection. It's a DVD, a, a three, three disc DVD set and a and a bonus Christmas CD. That's kind of interesting, but it's not really something I'm into. So I'm gonna pass on that, but I'm appreciating all the all the rock and roll and I'm kind of hoping for some more. Ooh, maybe, maybe in the CDs too. Speaking of rock and roll, here's a whole boatload of Elvis movies, which are pretty awesome. I definitely have every single one of these. However, I am trying to find a couple Elvis movies like individually by themselves, but I wanna say it's all Warner Brothers stuff. I think all the Paramount stuff I already have by themselves, so I don't actually need any of these. Kind of a shame, for a second I got pretty excited thinking I was gonna split up a multi-feature set and uh, sadly that, that won't be happening. But still, Elvis titles, there's, there's really good stuff here today. Here's something I don't see every day. Everybody hates Chris. When do you ever come across the seasons of this out in the wild? Honestly, I, I would pick this up for only, of course, of course. This is the one thing I'm finding that has a red tag on it that's half price. $1.50 for this. That is all this would cost. But unfortunately, the discs are not in very good condition. They are pretty well scratched up. So I'm going to have to pass on the Everybody Hates Chris season three release. And again, I just, I never come across out in the wild. That was almost an amazing find. Again, it's stuff I don't need, things I don't really collect for anymore, but they have a boatload of HD DVDs here. Pretty awesome to come across all this. Now, I, of course, well, there's HD DVDs. Sometimes there's HD DVD players. We have to go look for one of those. Um, but anyway, I don't know. At, at f five bucks a piece for titles I, I don't need, I'm gonna pass. Yeah, I, I have like 14,000 <laughs> HD DVD players in a closet upstairs. I don't, I don't need more. So I kind of have a soft spot in my heart for anything put out by PBS, especially like local documentaries put out by PBS. And that's what this is, a farm story with Jerry Apps. I, I mean, I have no idea all about this little boy growing up on a farm during the 1930s into the 40s. I mean, this sounds actually really interesting. I, I'm weird. I know. I love this kind of thing. I'm thinking for, um, again, $3, I'm going to have to pick this up. It's a, it's a local PBS, like... W H maybe Y Y I don't know it's 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 PBS. Why, it's why, why? it's brought to you by viewers like you or whatever or viewers like me. I'm whatever. I'm I'm, I'm buying this for three bucks. All right. So at this point, I honestly don't even want to think about how much money I'm about to spend today because um, I'm finding more interesting things like secret files of the Inquisition. Some more PBS. That's kind of awesome. So brand new factory sealed. And this is pretty amazing. Ford Massacre, a MGM limited edition collection release. Basically their version of the Warner Archives. That is pretty awesome. And the disc in this is completely 100% minty. Look at that. So, all right, I'm gonna be picking this up as well. So the, the pile, the pile is growing. I'm actually kind of happy I'm not buying all that History Channel stuff now. All right, so I'm thinking that's actually going to do it for the movies. I don't see anything else I want to pick up. Just this pile here. Honestly, I'm pretty happy with my find today. It's definitely some really interesting, cool things. Again, spending a little bit more than I had anticipated because, like, none of this stuff is on sale. But that's okay. I'm, I'm happy with my finds. And then what's John finding over here? T Torchwood? All right. What is that? Like an, an audiobook? Yeah. Okay. Oh, and quick, you're grabbing Quick Change. Awesome. And Dumb and Dumber on Blu-ray. So, all right, you're, you're finding some good things as, as well. So, all right, we're... Again, qu qu quality over quantity. Now I want to go look at the CDs and see what kind of awesome rock albums they have. I'm thinking they've, they've got to have some Bill Haley, right? Maybe. Bill, Bill Haley. 
Well, actually, there are a few rock and roll albums over here. I'm seeing some Elvis Presley, which is pretty awesome. Don't need those. This would have been really cool, though. Gene Vincent and his, his good old blue caps. This I was actually tempted to pick up, but um, unfortunately, hey, John, can you, can you get that open for me there? Sure. Unfortunately, the, um, the disc inside is it's good old John Oates. I'm going to I'm gonna pass on the, the John Oates. It's only, it's only John Bowles for me. No, <laughs> That's right. no, no John Oates. No Oates. Anyway, so CDs are, uh, unfortunately, a bust. That's kind what of a shame. What about steel cutters? No. Okay. I was, I was kind of hoping for some rock and roll music, but oh well. Oh yeah, I completely forgot this Goodwill kind of shrunk down their toy section. This whole area over here used to just be all nothing but toys. Now it's just this Ooh, one little area. What'd you find? Shuttlecocks? Shuttlecocks. Sweet. Sweetcocks. So, <laughs> so, and just like that, we, we go PG-13. Anyway, I'm not seeing any toys or collectibles or anything over here I want to pick up. John's grabbing the shuttlecocks and I'm, and I'm passing on Oh, that's actually that's pretty awesome. That's all brand new. Yeah. Factory sealed. That's dope. That's kind of cool. This is interesting. It's a um, Batmobile. I'm thinking that's a that's a dog bed, right? That's a little paw right there. So something. dog bed, cat bed, something. I don't know. I probably shouldn't touch it because yeah. your your allergies are going crazy today. Mm -hmm. I have definite like dander, like do, like dog and cat dander allergies. So I should probably actually just stay away from that. It's cool. It's a Batmobile. I'm I'm gonna walk this way now before I start sneezing and my eyes get all puffy and itchy. I'm looking over here in the mugs now, and unfortunately, I'm not seeing anything with uh, figment on it. I was hoping for some vintage Disney or just some good old figment, but nothing like that. However, I am seeing some interesting things like this um, Thor Love and Thunder cup. That's kind of awesome. They had like Hershey Park mugs here. There's a Lionel Trains mug. That's actually really awesome. That one there's kind of tempting. I don't collect mugs though, so I'm gonna end up passing on that. Storm Runner, and just, I don't know, I'm seeing kind of interesting things. I'm digging the, uh, the unicorn and the dragon there. That's that's pretty awesome on the, uh, what's it called, a tumbler or whatever that is? So anyway, I don't, I don't need this stuff. I'm gonna just pass on it. No, no figments, so I'm gonna, I'm gonna keep on walking before I start collecting mugs again. All right, guys, so I'm thinking that's just about gonna do it for this Goodwill, not really finding much else, but I'm pretty happy with my, my movie finds. I mean, I came in for movies, I found movies, I'm, I'm happy, and John's over here finding, uh, oh, you're picking up one of the, one. the Thor mugs, and um, that's a, is that a cable for an Xbox? Yep. That's awesome, you were saying. Mine didn't come with one, the, you the ones I got last oh, week. Oh, that's right, you did, just buy, yeah. you did just buy some Xboxes, and they did not come with the, the oh, cables, that's, that's awesome, and it's red tagged as well. It is. Nice, all right, so you're finding some good stuff. We're, we're, we're doing pretty good today. I'm, again, I'm, I'm happy with my finds, but quick trip out to the East Earl slash airplane hangar. Goodwill stuff. All right, guys, with that, we are done. So as always, thank you all so much for checking out this video. Be sure to hit the like button, hit the subscribe button, and of course, check down below for links to Patreon, Spreadshirt, and the Cinema Sickness store. It came from Cinema Sickness. Also, check down below for my second channel, Retro Rest Stop for Daily Adventures, and check down below for a link to... Some of the Bulls movies. On Instagram. I'll see you guys next video. Thanks for watching, guys. Have a good one. All right, bye.